Hey, what's up, guys? So, I was trying to edit a video, and then I was pulling off some footage off of my network computer that stores a lot of my bulk stuff to keep my main computer kind of cleaned off. And I realized I couldn't find my files because one of my drives, I guess, is dead. Um, so I have here uh, eh, a uh, USB... Uh, uh, I guess you call it drive dock or something like that, that I was using to test out. It's RAID 0, so I have two drives here, and I had to figure out which one was actually dead. So I put it in this dock so I can kind of swap out, well, I'll try this one, try this one, kind of on the fly, and I narrowed it down to this drive I previously actually repaired. It's been running pretty strong for, God, I don't know, like a year and a half now, and now it's just not connecting to the computer. So I'm going to take apart this board I fixed and uh, see if I can see anything kind of obvious. And if not, I might just go ahead and try to swap it out and show you guys how to fix a hard drive if it's actually a connection problem. Because we have this board right here, and if this board fails, uh, it won't connect to your computer, but the platters on everything on the inside will actually still be okay. I'm hoping that's just what it is, is this board failed, I repaired it, but um, one of the guys is wrong, so I actually re the whole chip, which I didn't have to do, so I'm thinking that might be where the problem is, is that re -ball. Um So let's look at it. Okay, so side note, the brand skins look pretty cool. Um, okay, so <laughs> have an iFixit kit, and take... These screws out. My hopes aren't too high on actually seeing anything. Which kind of sucks. But we will see here. Okay. Ooh, baby, that got hot. That got real hot. So, let me see if I can show you guys. Autofocus always sucks. But you see right here on this corner how it's discolored. Um, usually that means it got hot. Which I'm not, I'm not sure if that's ordinary or not. I don't really know. But yeah, that got hot. So I should probably explain a little bit um, of these boards. So it's not as simple as just swapping them. There's actually a BIOS chip which is right here, and you can't see it. This is the BIOS chip, which has to be present on the drive it was assigned to from the factory. So basically, if I swap these boards around, which these don't even look compatible anyways, if I swap these <laughs> boards around, um, it still wouldn't work because it doesn't know it's on a different uh, disk. So you actually, to fix one of these boards, you actually have to take this BIOS chip and solder it onto a, a known good board, which I don't even know if I have one, but uh, we'll find something. Because I need my files, and I'm not paying someone to do it. <laughs> okay. Yes, this definitely has solder work on it. This is the one I fixed. I know it has solder work on it because it's sticky. <laughs> okay. Um... Yes, this is a BGA chip. So, if you look at this one, that's not BGA. All the connections are on the side. But this one right here is a BGA chip, and I definitely soldered that. And, um, okay, so guess what? My, mine held up. <laughs> uh, mine actually held up. Because this drive actually got detected on my computer. I used Crystal Disk Info, and it said it was a good port. Well, good disk. And if you look here, you'll notice, yeah, so this one got, is getting freaking hot. It's not connecting. There's a problem with this board, which is good. It's good that there's a problem with the board because these boards are easy to fix. Taking these things apart, uh, yeah, taking this apart is actually a bitch. So I need to find a different board, swap this chip to it, and then I can get my files. I wonder what the dates are on this. This one's newer. I'm literally going to break a new drive. God, what's wrong with me? 
Here, here you go, guys. Opening up package to steal, to steal board. <laughs> scissors, scissors right here. Come on, come on. Sealed in package. To take the board. <laughs> oh, you got a terabyte? Eh, it's the board. Look at that. Brand new. <laughs> Just for the board. <laughs> you know, to be fair, $15 is probably about what I would have spent on the board. <laughs> Couldn't have to fucking spend it anyways to fix this poor bastard. <laughs> okay, so to do this, you use hot air. Here, we're going to start the age-old argument of how much is the correct amount of flux to use to do this. Yep, let me use check quick. <laughs> Here's the new board. I'm just gonna use check quick because that was way freaking easier. People don't like to use check quick because it's really expensive. But for the quantity of soldering I do, I should have just done that right off the bat. Because it's so much easier. Here's my new bias chip. New being the one I'm actually getting rid of. To make room for my old one, because I need the old one. It's covered in chip quick. Get that off real quick with the wick my pads. Sounds good. So, a mark somewhere. There's a dot. See the dot? Where that goes. Oh, there should be a dot on this chip. You can see the dot on the top left. So, let me uh, apply some flux. Because the solder has already been heated once. Let me use hot air to. Tuck it down. Should want to go in place on its own. Alright, that looks good. I'm not digging with it anymore. I don't fuck up this shit. So, after you're done rubbing alcohol, clean the board. Okay. We are good, sirs. Alright, I'm gonna screw. Oh my god, <laughs> my microscope, it looks so much shit. I swear, it doesn't matter how much you clean it, it never is like really clean. I'm still worried about <laughs> that I like uh, put the new BIOS chip back in that itself. That would have been funny. I did drop it at one point in time and I was like, oh great, which one is it? It's backwards. There we go, that's how it goes. Yep. So you can see right here my network drive is back online and I'm going to back up all these files to an external hard drive. <laughs> Almost accidentally deleted it right there, but yes, back up all these files to an external hard drive where I will be swapping out these two hard drives with two new hard drives because after what happened I don't really trust it and plus I don't want it in RAID 0 anymore, I want to do a RAID 1. And in case you're wondering why I would do a RAID 0 in the first place with something that has important information on it, well, that's because back then I didn't have the, all the SATA 
SSDs and PCIe SSDs I have in this computer that I do now, saying I needed the fastest speed I could get with what I had. And it also didn't have important stuff on it back then.